Manaru is the central city of trading. Back when ships from Valencia would anchor in Nauru, children would greet the merchants and fireworks would light the skies. Nauru was a thriving city of sailors and merchants, and crowded areas were guarded by mercenaries. Little did they know what had arrived. Literally, the only thing I knew about Black Desert Online was that it has one of the most detailed and beautiful character creators in gaming. It's more than that, of course. There's an enjoyable game behind the glossy exterior, including a number of features not typically seen in MMOs. The story itself is not explained very well. We're not sure whether it was written poorly to start with, or if it's just been badly translated from the original Korean. There is definitely a lot of room for improvement in the translation. Your adventure, one day, three hours, five minutes has passed. Certainly gets the message across, but it's pretty clumsy and there's a lot of similarly awkward phrases dotted throughout the game. Also unusual is the Black Desert Online class system. Particular races and genders are tied into specific classes. I mean, if you want to be a ranger, you've got to be a female elf. There is no male equivalent. And the wizard, a male character, does have a counterpart in the female witch, but while they're pretty much the same, there's a few differences in skill sets. Each class is expected to be capable of standing up for itself in general. The male warrior class has a shield in its offhand, so there's a certain amount of tank in his playstyle and groups may benefit from playing off that advantage, but if you don't have a warrior in the group, it doesn't mean you can't play. Once you get a bit further into the game, you start finding things to do other than slaughtering endless hordes of monsters. Fishing is one you're more than likely to notice sooner rather than later, with dozens of players camped along the in-game coastline trying their luck. Do enough fishing and your skill will improve, increasing your chances at more valuable or useful fish. But it's not just fishing, you can make a fair bit of money stuffing the backpack full of trade goods in one town and schlepping them to another, gain more trading experience to open additional goods, and if you're carrying them on your back, gain strength experience and eventually be able to carry heavier stuff. Or you could buy a donkey or horse and pile your trade goods on them, vastly increasing your speed between trade points. If you're carrying them in a backpack, you move very slowly and thus face a much greater risk of being waylaid by bandits. On horseback, you can simply run away. But your donkey can only carry so many items in its saddlebags. If you really want to make your fortune, you'll need a wagon. Pile more goods in, travel further and faster, and earn more money. But that's not all. Riding your horse around, even when it's attached to your wagon, earns experience for your horse, which can also level up and thus improve stats like running and turning speed. As you train up your horse, you earn training experience, which makes training your mounts up faster and more efficient. So if you go out and capture a wild horse, you can get it up to speed much sooner. Yes, that's right, you can tame wild horses. It's kind of a pain in the ass as the minigame involved is not adequately explained in game. And then the reasons for failure are often a mystery, but once you have at least one horse of each gender, whether you bought them or tamed them, you can try breeding them with each other, hoping to get stronger offspring to train or breed further. Unlike other MMOs, your mounts can be killed, and while you can pay a fee to bring it back from the dead, that gets more expensive each time. You can also cook food, dry fish for packaging into trade goods, chop trees, farm crops, mine for precious metals, and I've probably forgotten or simply not even encountered a bunch of others. Like you can apparently breed cats, but there weren't any for sale in the marketplace and as the game is still fairly new released, it may be a while before that happens. We'll keep you posted. Black Desert Online is full of unusual features like that. Even the waypoint and travel systems deviate from the norm, with no fast travel system available at all. But what you can do is set up a waypoint, perhaps your next quest target, and have your character automatically run or ride an appropriate route for you. It's not perfect, you occasionally find yourself stuck on a fence or a wall, but for things like running between towns when trading, it's a godsend. In spite of putting more than 30 hours into the game so far, it feels like I've barely scratched the surface. There are so many systems in play, it's hard to tell whether I've seen most of it or only a small fraction. And that's exciting, plenty more things to see and do. Black Desert Online is a lot more than just a pretty face. It steps away from many of the conventional elements common to other MMOs without being a totally alien experience. And it feels a lot more fresh as a result. <laughs>